Hmm. Wow. 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 Hey guys, Jay. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> guys, today is day five of Mo Tuesdays, everybody, and I am super excited about this brand new announcement. I have to admit, Mo Tuesdays has not been mm, as exciting as of late. It started off with a bang. Then, unfortunately, mm, things started to slow down a bit. They started announcing things like The Little People and a, a great, wonderful animation, which sort of gave us, you know, a pause as to whether or not we would be getting Skeletor in the line. But today, today, everything got turned upside down on its head, and honestly, I can't imagine what the heck a lot of people woke up to today to find out what was announced on Mo Tuesdays. Let's take a deeper dive into this, but before we get started, guys, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week, and I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. So, guys, let's take a deep dive and find out what happened today on Mo Tuesdays. It is a bit fuzzy, to be perfectly honest with you. At first, you know, there was a bit of a, a double take, but we can clear that up right now. Let's have a look. Guys, I gotta tell you, these Mo Tuesdays are really, really tugging at my heartstrings. I'm not gonna lie about that. You know, they've been they've been they've been sending us from one end of the spectrum to the other, like pure elation, to sort of almost disappointment in a lot of ways. I mean, think about it. The very first announcement we got was the announcement that the Mike Young series would be airing specific episodes, you know, uh, throughout the announcements of Mo Tuesdays. And you know what? That's not bad. It really is a lot of fun to be able to go through all of these wonderful episodes. The second announcement really just energized the entire Motu community. Oh my god, too bad from the Master Universe Revelations. Holy crap. And everyone was on bated breath to find out what the next set of announcements would be. The Diamond Ray of Disappearance was, was cool, but people were on bated breath to find out what the very next announcement was. And of course, it turned out to be Little People. The very next week after that, they showcased this amazing animation from Stunt Puppet Studios, and honestly, this was such fun. But it just wasn't enough. It's almost as if, you know, Mattel was teasing us and teasing us and teasing us, and a lot of us were just wondering, you know, when is it going to happen? When are we going to find out an uh, announcement from Mattel? Well, guys, that happened today. Today, at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 9 o'clock uh, Pacific Time, over on Instagram, this is the official page for Master Universe. If we scroll down, we can see, yes, indeed, they have finally announced Grizzlore, which is going to have an in interesting uh, pre-order schedule and we're going to take a look at that today guys clicking on the image we find out that Grizzlor is in fact on sale September 9th so definitely mark down your calendars everybody according to this post coming in September Grizzlor a limited quantity of Grizzlor figures will go on sale day one guys this is huge if you are looking to get a Grizzlor day one there are limited quantities available so be prepared be ready because this is actually going to be very similar situation to Wondar, Koldar, and of course Triclops, but don't fret. This is where the announcement gets really, really good. It goes on to say, but if you miss out, we've got you covered. Yes, everybody, this is amazing. A second made-to-order batch goes on sale the very next day. is between September 10th at 12 a.m. Pacific Time through September 11th at 11.59 uh, Pacific Time. So guys, mark your calendars down. This is the time that we get to actually order. Uh, actually, it doesn't say about anything about a limit, but at the very least, you'll be able to get your very own Grizzlor. At least, guys, this is crazy. Mark down your calendars, get ready for this, because honestly, I have to applaud Mattel for doing this. This is crazy. This is so great. Truthfully, truthfully, like seriously, we, we, we had no idea, you know, uh, what was happening with, with Grizzlor. We really had no idea. When we found out that he was going to be a Mattel Creations exclusive, uh, you know, at at uh, San Diego Comic Con, a lot of people's hearts dropped. It really did because Grizzlor is a key figure in the history of the Master Universe 40th anniversary. He was one of the very first key members of the Evil Horde, and if people were not able to get this, I think a lot of people would have been upset. Some people would were, were even talking about dropping the entire collection entirely. That wouldn't have helped anybody. And you know what? There's lots of speculation out there as to why. Mattel is making this decision. You know, why make him into a Mattel Creations exclusive? It To me, it all comes down to the fur. It all comes down to the fur of Grizzlor because it's just something which is completely outside of the realm of the current releases of the Master Universe. None of the other Master Universe have soft goods in this manner. And this furry coat, the way it actually attaches to the figure, it is a lot of brand new, uh, not even tooling, it's actually soft goods. And that 
you know, as an, as an attachment, as an accessory, that's expensive in terms of like, you know, overall production and could be a huge risk for a company like Mattel if they don't sell enough. So, you know what, going this route, you know, where they have a, lim a limited edition, sorry, a limited stock uh, available on September 9th, but then making it available as made to order between September 10th and September 11th, what a genius move. And this actually parallels or mirrors uh, you know, another decision made by another company selling Mattel goods. Yes, indeed, guys, this is very, very much reminiscent of what Mondo, you know, did for their release for uh, for the Masters of the Universe, what I like to call the 40th anniversary of He-Man and She-Ra, which they had made to order sales uh, earlier this year. As many of us know, He-Man, the deluxe figure Mondo exclusive timed edition uh, He-Man, which, which featured not only uh, He-Man in his traditional straps, shield, axe, and sword, but he also came with a host of accessories, just a massive amount of accessories, including the ability to change him from the original form of He-Man with his straps, swapping that out, Battle Armor He-Man. This is freaking amazing, and of course does also include the ability to swap out for battle damage on the H, and then swapping that out for Thunder Punch He-Man. Like, absolutely crazy. This was a, a must-have buy for mu for many collectors, and they did it with a made-to-order timed edition. 24 hours to actually order this character. Only a few weeks later, which was kind of concerning for a lot of people, that She-Ra also had a you know one six scale figure Mondo exclusive timed edition, and this was also such a wonderful gesture by Mondo, because usually Mondo doesn't have that. Usually they went with the same model that uh, Mattel had, which was limited stock, and once it's gone, it's gone. But this is the first time, as far as uh, as far as I can recall, that they had any timed editions. And, you know, this was wonderful. You know, being able to get uh, She-Ra with so many different accessories, including Filmation-style cowl, just wonderful. And to be able to have the opportunity to get them as timed editions, 24 hours to make your decision, as well as being able to get a, you know uh, payment plans using a third party processor. Wonderful gesture, bravo to Mondo. And you know what, for today, especially today, bravo to Mattel for picking up that mantle and really doing good by the fans. This is what we were in for, guys. This is the, the 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 kind of thing that we needed to re-energize the brand, you know, get people back into, into the collecting spirit because honestly, there were a lot of people telling me on my live streams, you know, on, on all my comment sections, on the videos that I've been doing, that if they cannot get Grizzlor, they are out. And that really wouldn't have helped anybody. So I am super, super excited, incredibly grateful that Mattel has decided to go on this route for Grizzlor. And hopefully, hopefully this will mean that they will continue to do this model going forward, allowing people to be able to order as many as they want well, we don't know about that yet, but at least allowing people to be able to order it, you know, within a 24-hour time frame, not having to stress out, not having to worry, and I really do hope that this will be the model going forward. Holy crap, guys. What an amazing announcement. Bravo, Mattel. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we were hoping for, Mattel. Thank you for doing this. Oh, my God. Finally, finally, a company is actually listening to its fans. There were a lot of questions going into this, whether or not, you know, there would be limited stock uh, for Grizzlor, what was going to happen, how many pieces were going to be on hand, and you know what, all those, all those questions have been put to rest today. You know, people are, are going to be able to try and get the limited stock, which is going to be available in September, but then, you know, literally the very next day, there's going to be a made-to-order, you know, amount of stock, which is going to be on hand this this is exactly what we were looking for, exactly what we were hoping for. And you know what? I'm, su I'm super glad, super, super elated that Mattel has finally decided to actually do this. It's absolutely crazy. Remember to mark your calendars, guys. This is very important. Grizzlor will be on sale September 9th with a limited stock available. So more than likely, it'll sell out very, very quickly. But not to fear. If you miss out on that one, Grizzlor will be made to order on September 10th through September 11th from 12 a.m., uh, starting on September 10th all the way to 11.59 p.m. on September 11th. Guys, do not sleep on this. This is going to be huge. Mark your calendars down. This is going to be amazing. And I do have to say, truthfully, I do have to say, Mattel, thank you. Thank you for this. Taking a page out of Mondo's book, wow. 
amazing. It's almost as if you're pirating the idea from Mondo, but I love it. I love it so much. Thank you so much, Mattel. This is a dream come true. And I hope, I am hoping, that this is a precursor to more releases in this way. You know, whether it be, you know, Swift Wind or... Um, you know, any any other uh, new characters coming forward? Um, because you know, we're everyone's talking about Moss Man. Everybody's talking about um, you know Cyclone. You know these characters which require a lot of tooling, a lot of uh, you know re research and development, and obviously are big risks for for a company like Mattel. I think doing it this way is going to be huge. Thank you, Mattel, for doing this. This is absolutely amazing. Guys, please let me know in the comment section below. Are you interested in picking up a Grizzler for yourself, knowing that there will be no issues? actually grabbing one from now on are you guys gonna get in line and try your hand at picking one of these things up early on september 9th or are you kind of fed up about this whole run around trying to pick up figures you know trying to go online and and you know not being able to see them in store do you want you know the, the master universe to return to the store shelves and are really kind of turned off by uh you know online shopping in general please leave those comments in the comment section below guys if you enjoy this episode please do leave a like it really does help me out I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> we have the power, everybody. We have the power. Geek proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow. And I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.